All right, Facebook, YouTube, what's going on, guys? Today is Tuesday, November the 1st. We are in Farragut, Tennessee today. We're going to be on a hardwood screen and recoat on site finished, real hardwood floors. Uh, they're going to need a screen and recoat. They're not in terrible condition. You can definitely tell they need a little bit uh, of attention and love. So we're going to head on in and I'll show you guys what we're working with. Oh, God, and what a beautiful day it is in Farragut. We're approaching fall and it is beautiful. All right, guys, so these are the hardwood floors that we're gonna be working with today. Like I said, they just need a screen and recoat. They're not in terrible condition. Uh, you can definitely see there's a lot of areas uh, that are starting to misfinish. There's a lot of scuffed areas, a lot of areas with scratches in the finish. But overall, guys, these floors are not in terrible condition. I think this is about I wanna say about 12 to 1400 square foot. I wanna see if I can show you guys a few of the areas to show you the kind of condition we're working with. If you guys look through here, let me try and zoom in. You can just see there's a lot of scratches, a lot of blemishes in the hardwood. But overall guys, not in terrible condition. We'll show you guys. We're also going to be doing this flight of stairs and these two landings as well. So what we're going to go ahead and start with is the screening process. Get these floors abraded really well, get them cleaned and prepped, and then go ahead and put our first coat on. All right, Facebook and YouTube. So what we're in the process of doing now is abrading the floors. The purpose of this is to give the new top coat something to bond onto. If we don't scratch up that surface a little bit, then our new top coat isn't going to have anything to hold on to. And let's just say that wouldn't be good. If we put on new top coat on top of an unbraided floor, it'd have nothing to adhere to and would flake off. So that's what we're doing here. Real quick, what we're doing right now is wet screening. Uh, just taking a close look, you can just see little paint specks all around the house where they painted it. And once we put that top coat on, they will be stuck under here, so we don't want that to show in the finish. So we are wet screening that out right now. It's the small details that really, you know, really make a job go from, you know, good to great. So we're getting all of those out as we speak. All right, guys, so we've officially got these floors screened down. We went ahead and vacuumed, uh, and now we are in the clean and tack process. So this process is just to make sure we got, we already vacuumed to get all the dirt, dry particulate, soil, hairs, anything like that, because we don't want to see any of that in the finish, because once we roll this finish up, finish on the floors, it is under that finish. We wanna make sure we do a really good job with that. Next, what we're gonna do is the clean and prep, AKA clean and tap the floors. Uh, we're gonna use our preparatory cleaning system and our microfiber mop to ensure that we don't have a film of residue, any acrylic waxes, anything like that that is going to interfere with the adhesion of our new top coat once we get ready to lay that on. So that's what we're doing now, guys, is cleaning and prepping the floors. All right, guys, we are officially applying the poly and we are working on the steps as we speak. All right, guys, so we are Currently working on this railing in these hard to hard to reach areas. All right, guys, we've got the stairs done, and you guys can see they are looking fantastic. Wow! All right. All right, guys, so for the second step, what you're gonna see us doing is I went ahead and poured a line out. What I'm using right now is referred to as a T-bar, and this is designed to get around edges, those hard to reach areas without getting any polyurethane on the baseboards, the quarter round, or the brick. The next step is we're gonna use a roller to go ahead and roll out that polyurethane, making sure that we're getting each and every board. We stagger our rolls, make sure we're pouring into that wet edge, 
and always hitting every single board to make sure that we're not missing anything. So that's what we're doing here, guys, in this living room turned out great. We didn't get the best angles, but you'll see in the after that these floors came out incredible. Guys, so we have, uh, we're back from lunch. And this first coat is dry. And guys, you can see the difference that it made is incredible. Like I said, our clients went with a satin finish. On these floors, you can see there's no more scratches, scuffs, anything like that. These floors look great. They definitely, definitely needed this screen and recoating. And guys, the difference it made was incredible. I am so pleased with these. My client's very pleased. Um, we're actually about to put the second coat on now. Just want to take you guys and show you. I mean, these floors came out incredible. And I'll see if I can get good lighting. Yeah, you guys remember through here, all those scratches, scuffs, all gone, guys. These floors look awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. And they're gonna look even better once we put this second coat on here. But man, these floors turned out good. So good. Got the stairs, they look incredible. About to put, like I said, that second coat on here. Anyway, guys, that is gonna wrap it up for the day. Look how beautiful. <laughs> the end of the day, this was a big project. And uh, we have actually another really big hardwood screen and recoat coming up uh, this coming Thursday. So stay tuned for that video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, when you subscribe to the channel, it really helps get these videos to you know my clients. Being a small business owner, that greatly helps me. So I, I appreciate that very much. I appreciate everyone who has followed the channel so far and subscribed. Um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna wrap the video up. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.